What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Nuggles YouTube channel. Today is Expanded Thursday, and today we're looking at a Clean Clang deck. And uh, Clean Clang hasn't been seen that much, but I think it's still an okay deck to play for Expanded. Maybe not so much for tournament, but more for, for fun. But we have Clean Clang here, has Plasma Steel, prevent all damage done to your metal Pokemon or Steel Pokemon, whichever you call it, by attacks from your opponent's EX. Now, that's really good because a lot of decks rely heavily on EX Pokemon, but there are certain decks that don't, of course. You have the Dawn Fan deck, you have the Wobbuffet Crobat deck, you have Empoleon, you have Night March, you have Flareon. So that's what I'm saying. The deck might be okay. You just have to hit the right matchups and play against a lot of heavy EX Pokemon here. So we have the Plasma Steel, Prevent All Damage Done by EX Pokemon. Uh, and then we have this... Shift gear clink clang. As often dear like during your, as often as you like during your turn, you may move a steel energy attached to one of your Pokemon to another of your Pokemon, which is just like the aromatis now we have with Fairy, with the Hydrogen we have for Dark. Which is really good because you can move the energies any way you want to. And shout out to Rob Davies, because without him, I don't think we could play this deck. This deck really relies on the shift gear clink clang. Alright, uh, so that's the kind of support we have here. Now we'll play a two to Cabalion on here. Bounty X has Righteous Edge 30, discards a special energy attached to defending Pokemon, which is really good because there's like DCE, there's the um, Expanded, there's the Balin energies, there's the Prisms, you have the Rainbow energies, so you can discard all those cards. And you have Steel Bullet here, which does 100, and this attack isn't affected by weakness, resistance, or any other effects on the defending Pokemon, which is good because you can one-shot Suicune and Sigilyphs that way, and does 100 damage over and over again will eventually knock out some Pokemon. Uh, we play two Cabalion here, which is for the Iron Breaker. It does 80 damage, and the, the defending Pokemon can attack during your opponent's next turn. And this would be good because if your opponent is attacking with a 9 EX and they don't play many of them, let's say like like a Dark Right uh, or a Dark Dex, you play Evil Tall, but you'll play like two of them. If you use Iron Breaker, they can't attack you next turn, so you kind of stall them out that way. And you have Energy Press here too. It does 20, and it does 20 more damage each energy attached to the defending Pokemon. Now you could play. Um, you could play Age of Slash or Cabalion EX, but we decided not to. Um, it's just, I don't, it doesn't seem that good. And for Cabalion, you have to put, what, four energies on him, I think, which is a lot. Uh, with Cabalion, you just need one energy to use Righteous Edge, which is really good. Now, we have one Dark Iron here for the Dark Cloak. Each of your Pokemon that have Dark Energy attached to it has no true cost. And you could use, and you can use Night Spear. It does 90 at 30 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Now we have the Keldeo in here, and this is mainly for the rush in. So the whole combo is you rush in with Keldeo, you have a Dark Energy on the Keldeo, you can retreat. And this is because laser is one of the downfalls of this deck. If you put a, you can actually still do damage to Cabalion and special condition Pokemon. It's so like Gengar, um, anything that could burn. The, the, main, or, the main thing is like Gengar, and I guess against a Subgar, if they don't play... Nine tails or not or silent lab you can still rush in retreat and stuff so that's a thing you can get out of if need to um but yeah the russian is just you know russian you switch this from the bench to the active and you can use secret sword that's 50 and 20 more damage each water energy attached to this pokemon and this kind of helps against fire decks if you're playing against a fire deck uh, you could be in trouble but uh, with Secret Story, you can actually knock them out, so that's pretty cool. And uh, that's all the Pokemon we play in here. Play one computer, search this card, two cards in your hand. Search your deck for a card and put it in your hand without showing your opponents. Two Heavy Balls, search your deck for Pokemon with their retreat cost of three or more. And this is because you play the Clink with three retreat. You play the Kling with three retreat. And the Kling Kling, which has a three and the three. So that's very nice. Uh, two Max Potion here. Heal all damage from one of your Pokemon, then discard all energies attached to that Pokemon. And this is cool because you can use the, like I said before, you can use Shift Care, move all the energies off, and then use the Max Potion, heal it, and then move it back. Uh, here we got Full Rare Candy, uh, just so you can just max out consistency, try to get a turn one Clean Clang. Or turn two Clink Clink, sorry about that. So you can go from Clink to Clink Clang, which is pretty cool. And the most time, you always want to get the Plasma Steel at first, so that way your Steel Pokemon can't be hurt anymore by EXs. That's the key thing right there. Always get the plasma still out too. And also this deck, you're not going to be attacking until like turn three maybe. You're going to take your time. You're going to play it slow. You're going to play it cautiously, I guess is the word. Um, but yeah, I think it's a good thing. Just play it slow and you'll be okay. Uh, one super art here. Shuffle three in any combination of Pokemon and basic energy. So I'm going to just pile back into your deck. And this is just in case they do knock out a Keldeo or a Darkrai. Or maybe you need some metal energies back in your deck. 
You can use Super Rod to get those back. Now, with Darker and Keldia, they can only take four prizes. So you might be like, that's pretty bad. They can take eight knockouts with those. But you're only going to drop these cards if you need them. You don't always have to drop them in every matchup. Uh, one Switch, just in case you don't have the Dark Iron Keldio, you can drop a Switch and a Switch active one of the bench Pokemon. Roll Ultra Ball just for consistency. Discard two cards in your hand. Search deck for Pokemon. Two Verse Seeker. Put a supporter card from your discard pile into your hand. Uh, two Colors right now. Shuffle your hand into your deck. Then draw a number of cards equal to number of bench Pokemon, both yours and your opponents. I might drop one down and add a third Verse Seeker so that we have more life center options. So um, that's that's something we can debate on or we can debate about. If you want to kind of edit the deck some, drop a Colors for a third Verse Seeker. Uh, one life center here. Switch the bench Pokemon with his or her active. Four in, each player shuffles their hand into your deck, then draw a card for each of your prize cards remaining. <clears throat> uh, Juniper, discard your hand, draw seven. Four Skyless, search deck for a trainer card, and this is really good for turn two. You can use this to get a heavy ball to finish the rare candy combo, the rare candy get the heavy ball, the rare candy if you have the ultra ball, it's just a lot of combinations you can have turn two. And also, you, you get Skyla turn one for the Tropical Beach. Uh, huh, that we, we've seen Tropical Beach a lot in these expanded decks, and that's because Tropical Beach is one of the best stadium cards, if not the best stadium card ever printed. Once during each player's turn, that player may draw cards until he or she has seven in his or her hand. If he or she does, that player ends her turn. So, we're not going to be attacking turn one. Turn one, you usually want to drop multiple clinks and get a Tropical Beach and draw DF7 cards, which is really good here. Uh, for Prism Energy, this card provides every energy base uh except for okay so it provides a colors energy there we go but if this card is attached to a basic pokemon this card provides every type of energy but provides only one energy at the time so with clink clang like i said <clears throat> with the shift gear you can move this prism energy around any way you want to but if for some reason they get stuck on a clink or a clink clang they become a colorless energy and they can't be moved ever again so make sure when you attach a prism you don't attach it to a clink Clink or clink clank. So, and the reason I say don't attach it to clink because you may you might make the mistake of rare candy into a clink clank and never be able to get enough. So, uh, hey, we put three metal energies just because you need them against Age Slash. You could play blend energies, the one with the steel on it, but um, if you do that, then Age Slash just automatically wins wins them the game. And we play four shield energy here. This card can only be attached to metal Pokemon. And provides a metal energy so that way you can move around with the shift gear. Um, this the attacks of your opponent's damage do 10 less to the metal Pokemon this card is attached to. And if this card attaches to anything other but a metal Pokemon, this card, this card. Shall be shift gear, a shield energy onto a Keldeo or Darkrai, they get discarded, so that's something to look out for. And there's the deck. Uh, it's not Perfect, it's not the best deck, but it's really fun to play if your opponent plays a lot of EX Pokemon. You can just get a turn one clink clang and then it'll sit there and be frustrated. But hopefully enjoy the deck and let's see it in action. Alrighty, so putting gets Flapper here playing a Dragon, Fire, and Water deck. Now the fire kinda concerns me. Um, because we are weak to fire. So Alright, so let's see what does my opponent have here. Hmm, it's a lot of different stuff. Here we got a Cabalion out. And our hands, uh, pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie to you. Alright, so we see White Kyrim come out. Now we do top the in here. We see an EX, so that's good for us. Alright, so pass from our opponent, not that very eventful here. We'll put down a shield energy and we'll play in here. Alright, so we get an Ultra Ball. Mm. We get Ultra Ball, discard the license and switch. Here we'll get a Clink. Put the clink down, and here we're righteous edge for 30. Now, if we top deck a rare candy, we will be a okay. We'll be like, yes, clink clink is coming to town to play. All right, see energy come down and uh, pass. Okay, yeah. You... Oh, we top deck the rare candy. There we go. Look at us. That's all it takes. All right, so now we get righteous edge for another 30. There we go. All I gotta do is top deck stuff, and we got it. So let's see, what does our opponent have here? He hasn't really played anything except this white gear, but now he can't even hurt us because the uh, plasma steel. So, okay, so we see a double dragon energy come down. And, uh, what does the text do? Flip a coin of heads, attach basic energy from a disc project Pokemon. Discard two fire energy, attach Pokemon. The defending Pokemon is now burned. I guess. Oh, we see a concession for my opponent. There we go. He realized he's like, man, I didn't hurt him for some reason. He's like, oh no, plasma clink clink. 
That's all it takes is a turn two rare candy clink clang, and you know, your opponent just concedes the game. All right, if you give me a second, we'll see another game. All right, so putting against Lipton Star. No, they make something called Lipton Tea, so maybe that's why. She decided to name her count that tails. Oh, we get to go first. I thought we called heads for a second. I guess we didn't call anything, actually. All right. So we have a pretty good turn one. Not going to lie. We have double Cabalions. We have Skyla for another heavy ball. Uh, we'll start with Cabalion here. Just the regular one. In this case, they have some kind of weird blacksmith one-shot play. Oh, we see Clamper come down. So I think we're playing against Ho-Oh and Friends thingy. Uh, we'll play a Tropical Beach heavy ball here to get a clink. Here we'll put the clink down. We'll put a Prism Energy on the Cabalion. Here we'll play a Skyla. For another heavy ball, please be in here. I didn't even check to see if you're in here. There it is. There's a heavy ball. All right, so play the other heavy ball to get another clink down. And the black and white guys in there, the plasma guys in there. Is uh, Dark Ray Keldeo in here? That's the question. Let's see here. Do do do. There's a Keldeo. And there's a Dark Ray. All right, we're good to go. We're good to go. And now it's Tropical Beach. That was a pretty good turn one, if I do say so myself. All right, so here we see a Professor Letter. He gets two energies from his deck and put them in his hand here. And there we see a Psychic Energy and a Water Energy. Now I imagine these are going to be Ultra Balled away. Here we see an Acrobike. They are definitely playing against the Ho Oh Huntel deck, which is kind of scary because the the Huntel um, obviously can't attack us over and over again. If I, uh, <laughs> which is the crazier part too, it only needs one energy to attack, so that's kind of scary here. Uh, so here we see a Battle Compressor. I imagine this will discard one or two Ho Ohs. There's one at least. Oh, he Acrobite one away. That's very nice. All right, so we see three energies go in there: a Fire, Fighting, and a Dark. And a pass from my opponent. Oh, he, he doesn't know what's happening. So here we get the Skyla. Here we get the Ultra Ball. We know the, the Kling Kling's in there. We can knock him out, right? Oh, no, we can't. Whoops, I got overexcited. I really thought we could knock him out this turn. We only do 20, 40, and I'm pretty sure he used Shell Protection. All right, well, I got overexcited. Anyway, we'll get a... Uh... <laughs> what is it called? Uh, the... <laughs> The, st the plasma still went out in play. Sorry about that. I was like, yes, we won. And I was like, oh, wait, we didn't. All right. So put a Prism Energy on here. Here we'll put another Cabalion on. Oh, I should have put on this Cabalion first. That's a mistake on my part. And here we'll just Tropical Beach. All right. So turn two, we got a the Plasma Clang out. Um, we got three Junipers in our hand next turn, which is pretty bad. Here we see a Huntail coming out to play. Here we see a Muscle Man come down. Now it's going to be up to us. Uh, Rebirth Tails. To one shot this Huntails over and over again. If we can one shot these Hotels and, and he can't get another um, Clamper out, we're in, we're in an okay spot. So we have a course in this card for the Verse Seeker, so we can at least course for six. And here we see a Tropical Beach from my opponent. We'll get this Kling out. Here we'll put down the Keldeo. Yeah, put the Keldeo down. It seems fine. Here we're Verse Seeker for 6. Or Verse Seeker for Chorus. Here we're Chorus for 6. Oh, I forgot to play the Switch. Oh, no. We could have had the knockout this turn. No. All right. Either way, we'll just get the Shield Energy up here. And, uh, wow. I forgot we don't. <laughs> I am messing up left and right here. All right. We'll take take 2 next turn. I thought we had the plus. The oh, no. He's got a Clamper on now. Or a, a thingy out. What is that called? Yeah, Clamp Roll. I had it right the first time. Alright. Right now he's only doing 20, 40, 60. Right? It's 20 times each. So 20, 40, 60 right now, which is not that strong. Here we see an Ultra Ball. Probably get another Ho-Oh. And probably play a Juniper. Oh, another Clamp Roll. That could work too. Here we see another Clamp Pro come down. Here we see a Jupiter. Discards a Verse Seeker switch. So you have the Jupiter. wonder why. Maybe he only plays two Ho-Oh. Alright, the Clamper came back up somehow. Here we see an Acrobike discarding the Ultra Ball. Here we see a Battle Compressor. He's going to put some more energies in the discard pile. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. He only do 110 to us because of the energy press, or because of the shield energy. Sorry about that. Oh, no, must have been. Never mind. It's all over. Here we see a Skyro Bridge come down. Here we see an Acrobike. Uh, okay. 
I was checking to see how much uh, what's the true cost of Cabalion X. I messed up there. If we had the switch there, we would have been in an okay spot because we could just switch into the Cabalion. Not Cabalion, he could attack us this turn. But I am silly and didn't do that. Alright, so let's see what my opponent does here. Here we see 130. So on the our turn, we're going to send this Cabalion. <clears throat> We're going to put a shield energy on him, and here we're going to play it in. We're going to play it down Tropical Beach and display the end. Alright, that's... Uh, we'll Ultra Ball discard this and the Skyla to get the other Clink Clink out so we can move energies around if we need to. So put him down here, and here we'll play Steel Bullets and knock out this Huntel. Now we're back to 5 to 5 in prizes. So here comes a Clan Pearl. So right now it's doing 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120 right now. Here we see another clamper come down. Here we see a battle compressor. Now, if he has another Ho O -Oh in his deck, that'd be kind of. Oh, he has another one in his card, Paul. I, w I missed it. Scary times for us. So 20, 40, 60, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Oh, oh, oh. If he needs a muscle band, too. Let's see. Did he already catch your energy? I'm not sure if he did or didn't. It all comes down if he flips heads or not, boys. This is scary here. Alright, did he discard a fourth ho? Okay, he did discard a fourth ho. Huh! Okay, tells him rebirth. Thank goodness. Here is the Burst Seeker for a Jupiter. Alright. So we got the Max Potion to heal off this uh, this Cabana when he hits us this turn. How many water energies does he have in discard pile? We see one. We see two. We see three. We see three so far. That must have been way off my mind. Oh, 20. He didn't, he get the, he didn't get the... uh. The other one out, that's why I didn't do so much. Alright, so put the prism here. We gotta be careful moving these energies, especially on the line. I'll move them all to this Cabalion. Here we'll play the Max Potion, Healing. Here we'll play a Tropical Beach. We're just fighting stadiums right now, seems fine. Uh, play the course for eight. Um, we get another energy for the turn. We'll attach it to the active. Here we'll shift gear up this uh, shield energy and a prism. Click done. And here we'll use Steel Bullets for 100. Take that, Huntail. So he just needs to flip, keep. He needs to keep flipping tails on these uh, hoes, and we'll be in an okay spot. And hopefully he doesn't have another Muscle Band. Okay, so see, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180 still right now. I guess last turn I could have computer search. Oh, another tails. Hey yo, it's all it takes. Just hope your opponent flips tails. Here we see a Jirachi come out. Alright, I wonder what he's going to get here. See a Lysander. Oh no, don't do that. What are you Lysander up? This Clink Clang. What? No, why would you Why would you try to one-shot my Clink Clang? That's not very nice. So here we're Max Potion it. What a, what a jerk. Alright, so a computer search this card. The Skyla and the N. Oh, he should have discarded the, the rare candy. I don't need that anymore. And here we'll get the dark eye. There's a dark eye. So play the dark eye. Put a prism on the Caldeo. And here we'll play the N. Alright, so we'll rush in. Retreat to this Gabalion. And I'm trying to think where the energies go. Let's just put them on Gabalion. Just in case if he can Lysander and kill us with a ho somehow. Here we'll steal bullet for 100. Take that Huntail. Take another prize. All right, so three to five prizes right now. Cause he he needs to play a super rod this turn, or she, he or she, um, hasn't seen a super rod yet. But there's one, two, three clan pearls in the discard pile currently, so he doesn't have one to play. Here we see another energy come down to the hunt tail. Now after this turn, we're not gonna have any more. Um, we're not gonna have any more max potions. We only play two. Here we see rebirth finally coming out. I think it's three energies here. One. Unless he doesn't have three different colors. It doesn't seem like he does. I only see uh, water energies in there, actually. So maybe his prizes are really bad. Here we see 130. Alright, so we're pretty much going to win this game now. Because <laughs> we're just going to retreat to this Cabalion. Yeah, so we're going to put a, a prism here. And here we'll just try to think of a juniper. Just wait. We'll for sure retreat. And here we'll use 
shift gear, move the steel or the shield energy up here, move the prism to this guy. Let's see, two on each and at least one metal left. I like that combo a lot. Here we'll ultra discard these two. Just to dis just to get out of our, our hand, just in case he ends us. Because we need a life center next turn to kill this Drachi. So here we'll steal bullet for 100, knocking out the Huntel. Now we know he doesn't have any more clan pros left. He doesn't have any Huntels left. So he's just going to have to rely on these Ho-Ohs. Which ho -Oh does 20 and the 20 more damage for each each different type of basic energy attached to this Pokemon. That was a tongue twister for some reason. So right now it's doing 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. So still not enough right now. Just waiting to see what my opponent does here. Just looking to see what's all in the discard power. Alright, Tony. So, just taking a second here. I think my opponent realizes that she might lose here. Now, we can't one shot these Ho Ho's. So, if he ends us and we don't draw into a Lysander, maybe that could be a problem. My opponent is inactive. Is Cammy going to get him? Come on, Cammy. Don't fail me now. Why, why is my opponent doing this? No, we're having fun. We were playing Pokemon. I made the misplay early in the game by not switching. Ah, oh, victory. We had to take the victory back, Cammy. But at least, yeah, it's, it's something. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Let's see what we get here. Ah, uh, five coins. Not very exciting. But uh, tomorrow's Fed Friday and also my birthday. So very exciting times. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Why, why, why haven't you subscribed yet? But uh, have a great day. Alrighty, bye.